Recording vocals could be really scary, especially if you've never used a digital audio workstation before or a DAW. But today I'm gonna to show you how simple it is to do on a program like Ableton Live. Before we get started, you're going to need a few pieces of hardware. Of course, you're gonna need your microphone. And right here, I have my NTR by Rode. If you're looking at different kinds of microphones, then I would suggest condenser mics over USB mics. And this is because the sound quality that you are going to get out of a USB mic is just not as good as something you'd get out of a condenser mic. This actually is not a condenser mic, but it's a ribbon microphone, which is a little bit warmer than something like a condenser mic. But if you guys want suggestions, I would say start with something like an NT1A also made by Rode or Blue Microphones has a few really cool condenser mics. Something that I've used in the past is the Baby Bottle Blue Mic. Of course you're going to need an interface and the one that I use is the Scarlett 2i2 which I'm using right now. You can see I'm lighting up. You're also going to need a pair of headphones so that you're not listening through some speakers that'll cause some feedback loop coming into your microphone. This is very important for you to be able to also hear yourself while you're recording. Let's get started. Be sure to check out Adorama.com to get the best deals. Whether it's recording video and audio at home, setting up your live stream, or getting some music gear, Adorama has it all. When you open Ableton up for the first time, you're gonna see this template here, and this is not the mode or the view that we're gonna be working in. This is called session view. We wanna work in arrangement view. And how you can toggle back and forth is you simply hit your tab key, like so. Or there's this button up here to the far right corner up top. Vertical lines mean session view. Arrangement view is where we wanna be, which are the horizontal lines. So Ableton's gonna give you four different tracks, three of which you don't wanna mess with today because we're only recording vocals. So we're gonna go ahead and hit these first three tracks, this one being a MIDI, and hit the delete button, another MIDI, and an extra audio. And we're just gonna wanna rename this because we wanna keep everything nice and neat and we wanna know what we're tracking, especially the more vocals you track, the more layers you stack on, things tend to get lost in audio one, audio two, audio three. So you wanna just stay as neat as possible from the beginning. The next thing we wanna look at is options. You wanna hit preferences and you wanna make sure that your audio, your audio, and you wanna make sure your audio Audio devices are set to where they need to be. So your audio device should be defaulted to your interface, whatever you're using. In this case, I'm using a Focusrite, so that should be my audio device. We're gonna go under channel configuration and make sure our inputs are set correctly and our outputs are set correctly as well. You could toggle these on and off, but you wanna make sure that they're on or they're in the yellow, meaning that they're selected. And then you're gonna go to hardware setup and your buffer size is something to consider for sure. I'm just gonna leave my buffer size 256 because that's just what my computer's optimized for but if you want to hear the least amount of latency meaning no delay between you speaking going into your microphone into your interface into your ears you're going to want to use the smallest number possible however if you have a smaller buffer size it will affect your cpu so if your computer really can't take that amount of processing you're going to want to stay in the higher numbers once you have that figured out you want to make sure that you can hear yourself and how you toggle this is you go back to the track right now it's set to off to the left of that there's auto and now i can hear myself within the track so we're going to set it to auto meaning I can hear myself while it's being tracked. If for some reason you don't wanna hear yourself and you wanna do one of those like off to the side headphone moves, which a lot of vocalists do, you can absolutely do that as well. Okay, lastly, we wanna make sure our gain staging is properly set up. Mostly we wanna make sure we're not gonna peak with the vocals. So how you gain stage correctly is you're gonna arm the track. So you're gonna hit this little button right here and you could see that this monitoring is picking up my vocals now and how you know it's too loud is you're going to test your vocals or you're gonna sing as loud as you think you're gonna sing and you're gonna see if it goes in the red see how this doesn't really go in the red it's kind of just bouncing in this happy gray area all right I'm gonna turn my interface up or I'm gonna crank my gain up on my interface or those knobs on the front and I'm gonna test my vocals. And that was enough for you to see that the vocals were bouncing in the red. Again, you can't fix this after you record it. There's no amount of turning the volume down that will get that out of the track. So you wanna make sure you get this part right. 
Okay, we're all ready to record. You can do that by hitting F9 on your keyboard or you can hit this big round button up here. It's this black button right here and you don't wanna use this record button that's just right next to it. It's a really easy mistake to make. And that's because we are recording in the arrangement view. This button right here is primarily used for the session view. So here we go, let's record something just really quick. How can I be so foolish? Okay, let's listen back. How can I be so foolish? Okay, so let's say you wanna to record to an instrumental track that you just have, or if you wanna record over a beat that you're working on, super simple to do. You can either do this in the program, let's say you worked on a beat in the program, you record vocals just like this, or you can import from an external source if your friend sent you something, or if you have like an MP3 that you just wanna sing over. Simply just drag and drop the file into the project, like so. So we're gonna go ahead and just delete these old vocals and we'll pick a section to sing to. Okay, here we go. How can I be so foolish to think that you would stick around? Okay, so the last thing you might wanna do is share your project and you can just go under file, export audio video, and you're gonna want to make sure that you have the correct file type. So if you're sharing this with a friend, you're probably gonna wanna use like an MP3. So you're gonna go ahead and toggle that on and you're just gonna go ahead and hit export. And it'll take a second to render the audio and that's Ableton. And that's really it guys, it is that simple. If you have any questions or comments, please write them down below. Do not forget to like and subscribe. If you have any other suggestions as to what you want us to tackle next, we would love to hear from you. And until next time, my name's Raquel Lilly. See you guys later.